Another very, very important service would be the logging analytics because the logs are the key to any kind of information coming from your resources. In this case, uh, let us change uh, the appropriate regions. I will remove these. And now we are looking at, uh, you see this is star count, which means I'm looking at all the logs. Over the last 60 minutes, let us make it at least seven days so that it's more interesting. And now we see that this is of the type pie. So there are multiple visualization options. By default, it's showing us a pie chart. And here we see that these are the different kind of logs that are ingested over the last seven days. If you remember, I said that we can ingest any kind of readable logs from across the systems. It doesn't matter whether it's a network device, whether it's a host, whether it's a a database or any other software. So all different kinds of logs. Uh, and we see how many log records from each of these are being collected over the last seven days. On the left-hand side, we have the menu, which is where we actually perform various filtering. Now, entity, if you click on this, this is nothing but in terms of enterprise manager, these are the targets. So these are the target names. So these are coming from each of these entities. Uh, probably more useful information would be to select the entity type which tells me that from uh, which of these entity types, so this is an uh, OCI function, a VNC, WebLogic server, database instance. Now database instance, for example, can have multiple log sources, which we see here. So in terms of database, we could have the database trace logs, we could have uh, the database uh, listener logs, we could have the audit logs and so on. So these are the entity types. And then each of these entity types may or may not have multiple log sources. So as we said earlier, we provide over 250 types of different parsers. So we can read more than 250 types of different log sources out of the box. Beyond that, creation of additional uh, log sources is very, very simple. Now, let's say we, uh, we select, let's go to entity type. And from here, uh, this, so for example, let us select Oracle database instance. Now, when I do that, you notice that the query is automatically changed. So we are not writing the query. Of course, you can. If you are good at query writing, we can change it manually. But most of the things that we do here will be drag and drop or click, which makes it very, very easy for your operations uh, person, operations resource to use this particular system. So now we see group by log source. And we see that uh, for the entity type, Oracle database instance, we have the audit logs, the trace logs, uh, and various other EBIS logs that are coming from the database as well. So in this case, what we are going to see is how many different logs or the log trends that we are seeing over the last seven days. Now you see here that on these particular days, we saw a big trend. Now the trends help us to understand maybe, you know, uh, it's a consistent trend. And on one particular day, you see a huge spike. So maybe it's a genuine case where maybe some kind of uh, background job was running and therefore it created a lot of logs. But at least it's, it's worth mentioning that it needs to take a look because it could be a genuine uh, case where there was some issue and it was throwing a lot of error logs. So in this case, more or less, it's okay. Even though we see that the trending is quite high on these days, if we think that it could be of issue, we could just select these logs and it will again select your custom time frame and show the logs on these particular dates. And then you can perform additional activities. So over here, we see that there are almost 1.9 million log records. Now, if I'm in a P1 or P2 scenario where time is of essence and I need to find out if there is a problem, so many log records is a big pain and also there's no guarantee that your operations resource is a DBA who understands these logs. He might be a middleware guy who's looking into this. So irrespective of who's looking and what the situation is, we use the power of machine learning in such cases where we have something called clustering, which will group together those 1.9 million log records into a smaller quantifiable number, which is we call as clusters. In this case, 1.9 million log records have been grouped together into 367 clusters. 17 of them, the machine learning tells us that these are the potential root causes. 
11 of them are outliers as you can see and 167 of these clusters are trending in huge numbers that may or may not be issue but worth looking anyway the most important ones of course would be to look at these potential issues now further if you want to check so from what kind of logs we are getting them uh, you can always see the log sources again from the main filter menu these are from where we are getting or even here in the table you see what kind of logs and the log sources we are getting this from now further if i want to again filter into a much more smaller manageable number i want to currently look at only the very uh, high priority logs so you can see here this tells me out of the box that these two are possibly the root causes which are coming from the EVS transaction logs and show high problem priority. So this is how we are able, you know, in, in a very, very quick manner to identify what's really going wrong. And machine learning helps us to find these issues. Now let us go back to uh, the database logs. I'm just looking at the Oracle database instance. Now, these are the log records, right? These are the individual log records. And each of these are grouped together as what we call as fields. Now, if there's an OR error, that would be also recorded as a field called error ID. Now, from the uh, database instance over the last seven days, we have 2.5 million log records. Let me see if there are any OR errors that are coming up. Yes, indeed they are. So what I can do is group by error ID, click on apply. And now we see the trends for these error ID. So you can clearly see that the orange one, so ORA 12012, this is trending almost every day. But so that could be an issue or else maybe this one, which we just see one log record, maybe that could be more important. It depends what kind of uh, ORA errors they are, but at least you have a short list. You know how they're trending. You know your background, your uh, IT infrastructure, and you can take a look into these issues. Further, let's say I want to take a look into a different visualization method. Maybe I select the word cloud. This shows me, so the bigger the number, uh, the bigger the word, the number of log records are more. As you can see, log records 314 over here. In this case, just one. Uh, and more important or interesting one would be to see by labels. So the labels itself, uh, so we are providing some enrichment to the logs based on which it tells me that out of the 2.5 million log records, some of them have uh, request failed uh, keywords, some of them have checkpoint weights, uh, some of them have log data switches, which would of course impact the inefficiency of your database queries. Now further, if you want, you can just click on them and then it will show you more details about what these are. And further, you can filter so if you want to see from what kind of uh, entity it's coming, it's coming from the C by DB. So these are the ways where you can filter and manage your logs and perform analytics over them. So all of these, as you saw, nowhere did I actually write the query. Everything is being managed by itself. It's just simple drag and drop operation. And it's very easy and intuitive to use all these visualizations, as, especially the machine learning features that we have. Now, if you remember that, uh, uh, Jorgen showed uh, th that we had some topology view. So let's see. Um, let me select maybe this one. I select include independent entities. So EBS demo. Okay, so it's demo EBS. I include the dependent entities. And now you see this view where these are separated by the tier. So this is from the application tier, the middleware tier. If it has something else, it will show that as well. Now, as you mentioned, these associations show you how these components are associated. Further, by the color coding, if these have some problems. So we saw the clustering method right now. So if through cluster method, if they identify some outliers, you can see them by color coding. If you have some problem clusters, again, these will map out. And let's say you want to take a look at the OR core, which, which is more important to you. I just click on that. It gets selected. And then 
uh, I can further view what we have. So I just need to uh, clear this query, run, and then we will see the log records coming from here. So this is a way where you can see the entire uh, infrastructure, in this case, that EBS consists of various layers of components. You see them all in one single space. And of course, if you want to take a look at something particular, just click on that. It gets selected into the entity space. And then we are looking at only that particular component. So very powerful way of viewing if there are any problems or issues going on in your application as well. So I finish uh, my demo. If you have any questions, please uh, post it on the Q&A. Thank you. Mm -hmm.